This is Spotlight in the City with your home girl D-Lo with the segment Make the Day Work for You. Have my fellas here, Mr. Phil and Mr. Knowledge, came to give y'all some wisdom on how they make the day work for them every day. How you doing today, fellas? Doing good, good, good. Looking nice as well, I may say myself. So these gentlemen are going to tell you a little bit of what they do every day to make the day work for them. So Mr. Phil, tell our viewers, what do you do every day to make the day work for you? Well, I'm a barber, you know, I get up and go to the shop when I want, you know, that's what makes my day work very well. You know, I go in there, I cut hair, you know, I, I kind of joke a little bit, you know, and I get serious and I, I do taxes as well too, believe it or not. So the fact that you're your own boss, that motivates you to make the day work for you? Oh, that's the best part of it, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> I could feel that. And Mr. the knowledge yourself, what gets you up every day that makes the day work for you? Man, just pleasing the people, you know. I love what I do. I mean, that's one thing. I love making money, of course, but because I still love what I do, it just makes me want to do what I do every day. I get up, I'm not sure than every barber, so, you know, just the fact that my craft, being real creative, I love doing it. Now, I've been watching you fellows for a while, and it's definitely a movement, but the art behind it is amazing. It's just outstanding. What gives you, because I've been to barbers, I have kids, you know, I see people out there at the barbershop chilling, but the craft that you do, the art, is it something y'all do on the outside, like are y'all drawers? I mean, what it is that y'all do that applies to the head, I say the canvas? Well, me, myself, you know, it's just very creative, I believe. I use a lot of imagination and creativity with my cuts, and it's not only just the cuts, it's like the, it's the, it's the relationship that I build, you know, in the, in the, the atmosphere that I create, you know, when we cut and it's a, it's a great thing, you know? So that's what kind of inspires me to just do what other barbers don't do. You know, I'm not cutting just for the money. I'm actually cutting actually for the significant other. <laughs> Cause that's who gonna send them back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but when we're talking about artistry, this is the man right here. Yes, Mr. Knowledge, we could view pictures of some amazing craft to lions to like you giving direction to people with the line work is just sick. You come in with ways, but you leave in with something totally different. It's like crazy. I mean, what inspires you to do that? I mean, the creativity really comes from just staying current with the latest trends, you know, going out to clubs. I mean, paying attention to what's going on on television, um, watching, you know, going, just going to different events and just peeping what people are watching from how they dress to how they carry their hair, different hairstyles, what you hear out there in the streets, what people are rocking and just being current on the latest trends, staying up on my craft, you know, and um, further education and, you know, cutting and all that and just staying up on the latest trends, but just getting out there because, I mean, what we do, you know, you got to be out there in order to know what to do. Okay, I can feel that, I feel that now. You mentioned education. You're not, uh, people out, be out there saying, I'm a great barber, but y'all go further. People reach out to y'all, so it's a marketing tool. What, what is that? Because y'all have a network with people like Floyd Mayweather, you know, meeting people like Grady, meeting people like the coaches for the Falcons, players for the Falcons. I mean, that's reaching out, and it's just not just sitting behind your chair. You got to be working beyond that. So what is y'all strategy? What, what, how do y'all draw people to y'all? Uh, a lot of it, believe it or not, a lot of it is word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because we cut certain people who know certain people and then they introduce us because they're confident with what we do and how we present ourselves. So that, it, it, it feels good for them to, to present us to certain people like Floyd Mayweather. They wouldn't mind sending us to cut his hair because they know, in fact, that, you know, what we bring to the table, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be satisfied. And we do get out a lot, you know. We got to get out. We network. We like the, 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 the personal networking instead of just handing, you know, somebody a flyer. If we do hand you a flyer, we're going to speak to you, talk to you, let you know what we really do. You know, so we get kind of personal, even though it's the first introduction to what we do. So that's that's one of the keys to how we've become successful this far. Definitely make it excited. Young barbers out there, male, female, watch these guys. They got it going on. They're doing their thing. They're doing it big. And I just want to ask y'all, how can they reach y'all? How can they view y'all, see y'all, Facebook, Instagram, shout out, whomever, whatever you want to do. Today is your day. You're here with D-Lo, with Spotlight. So how they can reach y'all? Well, you can reach us. Uh, you can reach me on Instagram. Both of us are Cut Creators. That's it. Cut Creators with a Z. C U T C R E A T O R Z. And CutCreators.com, spelled the same way. And you can reach uh, Mr. Knowledge at Knowledge Cuts. You can send me a Knowledge Cuts. Um, that's for the Instagram. As far as um, Facebook, same thing. Knowledge Cuts. Um, uh, you can just check us out. Cut Creators. Knowledge Cuts. I'm not your ordinary barber. 
I mean, just a movement, man. Just pay attention to what's coming. March 1st, it's going down. Mm -hmm. Hashtag <laughs> creators. <laughs> the smoothness with it, the confidence, you got to love it. Every day making the day work for them. I'd like to thank y'all guys for coming out to Spotlight in the City. To the segment, make the day work for you. It's just a privilege to sit here with y'all today and let viewers know what y'all do. So this is D-Lo. This information is coming straight from D-Lo. You got to love it. Check them out. Make the day work for you. This is D-Lo with Spotlight in the City. I love it.